Right now, the calls for an end to violence are growing louder in Southeast D.C. It comes as we approach Martin Luther King Jr. Day. D.C. News Now's Annalisa Gale is on the street named after the civil rights leader with a closer look at the new campaign. But unfortunately, when it starts happening too often, we start to become numb to it. And we assume that just the way it's supposed to be. What is not? Using a line from the Ten Commandments, community activists met on Tuesday at Busboys and Poets in Southeast Washington to demand change. Thou shall not kill. It's a campaign former D.C. Council member William Lightfoot used to fight back in the early 90s. The murders were way up above what we have today. The murders then were like between 400 and 500 people a year. And he's bringing it back at the start of 2023. Well, the ultimate goal is we hope that people will, those that are thinking about committing violence, will think twice and not commit violence. The community gathering here at the Southeast restaurant comes less than two weeks after a Busboys and Poets employee was shot and killed nearby. He was identified as 24 year old Mario Leonard. It was a very, very sad, sad day. Busboys and Poets founder and CEO Andy Shalal says he remains committed to collaborating with others to find solutions. Unless we involve the community, there's not enough security or enough bars to put on a window to end this, this uh, senseless violence. I think we have to get people engaged. And, and as many prepare to remember civil rights activists, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., organizers are preparing to spread the biblical message throughout the city. Signs will go up on the poles. They'll be up and down Martin Luther King Avenue on Martin Luther King's Day Parade. Uh, they'll be uh, so you'll see them everywhere. We've now got sweatshirts. We didn't have the sweatshirts before. We expect to get them in churches. They want to put them in schools. We're going to have yard signs.